What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to WWE 2K14. 30 years of WrestleMania. It is now time for the career versus the streak. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the streak versus career match. The only way to win is by pinfall or submission. Making his way to the ring from San Antonio, Texas, Weighing 227 pounds, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. As the sun sets in the Arizona desert, is it setting on the career of Shawn Michaels? We yes may be no. witnessing the last walk to the ring at WrestleMania for a man who defied the term Mr. WrestleMania. For a quarter of a century, 25 years, Shawn Michaels has entertained the WWE Universe. This is the 17th WrestleMania for Mr. WrestleMania. Is it all going to end tonight? Shawn Michaels is arguably the most decorated superstar in WWE history. But for the last year, Shawn Michaels has felt unfulfilled. Shawn Michaels has said his career means nothing if he cannot defeat The Undertaker at WrestleMania. The eyes of the world are on this match tonight. The eyes of the world are on WrestleMania. The world is watching and welcoming you to a fine Saturday here on the program. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing 299 pounds, The Undertaker. I don't know if there's anything more awe-inspiring than to see The Undertaker enter this huge stadium in front of over 70,000 of our fans here tonight. I mean, it's bone chilling to see him make his way slowly and methodically to this ring. Oh, he is truly a once in a lifetime superstar, The Undertaker. There is reverence here tonight for both of these men. But for The Undertaker, all good things could come to an end. He is 17 and 0 at WrestleMania. It is the greatest streak of all time. During that streak, the dead man has defeated 10 former world champions. And it does not appear that Shawn Michaels is intimidated whatsoever. So we have an update to this whole Becky Lynch Asuka at the Royal Rumble thing that was announced on main event. And as I said, you don't really announce things on main event, so therefore, Paige issued a correction saying, Oh, no, no, I actually booked that right before I was removed as GM, or stepped down as GM. Therefore, that match is not official, which is a good kayfabe way of covering up for a production error of some type. Now, that match could still get booked, but it is not official, and it definitely did not get announced on main event. So at least they managed to kind of get that all back to being situated, if you will. We have some upcoming shows on the WWE Network that sound pretty interesting in the next week or so. The first of which being more Fashion Police. So I'm assuming that Fondango is good enough to film things at the very least with Breeze. And we have the Fashion Files, Cold Case Files, uh, on the 24th. And that is to solving... Unsolved Mysteries from the WWE Universe. The first of which is who hit Kevin Owens in the face with a pie during that food fight on the 4th of July a couple of years back. We never found out. And man, like the places they could go with this show. The unsolved mysteries that could happen. Uh, there are dozens. Who was behind GTV? We all assumed it was going to be Goldust, but it... But it might have been Tom Green. We don't know. It was GTV. And if you kayfabe that in a way, it could be very, very entertaining. There was a match. I want to say it was Vince and Shane versus Stone Cold or something like that. And there was a, there was a briefcase that was for the ownership uh, of Raw or the company or something. And dur during that match, someone raised that briefcase. They never addressed it. And we didn't find out who did it. Also, when Shane McMahon came back... He had a secret that Vince had in a lockbox. We never found out what was in that lockbox. They had Shane fight Taker, and that was the end of that story, and that was it for that. So, you know, I want to know. 
and perhaps they'll kayfabe a thing in Fashion Files in this cold case show. So, that I am pretty hyped for, because I loved the Fashion Files on SmackDown. It was so good. So, more of that, please, and I am pretty hyped for that. Also, Sean, no, Sean! I have to tombstone you outside the ring. H, really? I reversed that. I hit the reversal, and then he just got to do it again. Like, that's the problem with, with video games. That's the... Sean! I know you're missing our last but, but relax, man. Re Jesus. Will you stop? I feel like Monsoon out here. Will you stop? Would you stop? Sean, I have to do a thing. I know it's no DQ, but just let me tombstone you. Seriously. On the outside. That's all I wanted to do. Anyway, other shows. Oh, he reversed it! Why, video game? I spend so long doing a thing, and then you immediately screw up and super kick party with that thing. Really, Sean? Really? It's your career online. Anyway, elsewhere on the docket here, we have a show hosted by Galza Anderson called Botch Club. Uh, that is going to be, I guess, highlighting botches, which is weird because, I mean, perhaps they just want to compete with Botchamania. I don't know. But they had a similar show a while back called Are You Serious? And that kind of only really focused on, like, bad gimmicks and old botches. So, I don't know if they're actually going to have anything recent in terms of their botches in this Botch Club show, and that brings to be seen on how it's going to turn out on the 28th. Boom for the last ride! Last ride! Now through the table! Trouble. Good God! In no! Oh, again. I mean, we could try. Here we go. Mr. WrestleMania wants his moment. Wait a minute. Wait. What, what, what is he doing? What is Shawn Michaels thinking here? He's Michaels, thinking top rope. Undertaker in trouble. Moonsault. 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 Undertaker, ladies and gentlemen, right here in front of us. Grabbing and grasping at that injured leg. His leg's broken. I think his leg is broken. So on the 27th, we have some kind of a cooking show, cooking contest show, hosted by Bo Dallas. And that sounds amazing. So that's cool. Uh, also, we have some Impact news, in that Impact has found out their at least temporary new home on TV, because they are getting off of Pop TV. And it's going to be... Pursuit, which I have never heard of. It is a smaller network with smaller reach than Pop TV, so man, Impact. It was Spike, and then it was, I forget, and then it was Pop, and now it's Pursuit. They're just not on a great trend with TV networks. The deal is not exclusive, so they could definitely, you know, wait around and find a better network, hopefully, as they are on Pursuit, but that starts on January the 11th. So, I don't know how they could continue to maintain a viewership, but Pursuit is, I, I guess, owned by the same people who own the company, Anthem, right? So, at least there aren't any fees there, or they, they can get a sweet deal or something. I don't know. Now, you as a Tombstone pin combo on HBK, Critical, in the rank. So, all that work to get there, and then we gotta get back there because video games. Because that's how that... Uh, Sean's just like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine, dead man. I'm fine. Have a DDT. And rest. In peace. Oh, he's going to come back. No! DDT. You stay down, Shawn Michaels. You stay down. Okay, now... We do a choke slam, And then, hopefully, Sean does not reverse that tombstone like he just did on the outside. We're going to hope so. We're going to hope so. But I wouldn't put it past him to reverse it again. Okay. Tombstone pin combo. And then... A one... And a cutscene. He can't believe it. The Undertaker cannot believe it. HBK kicked out at the very last second. Oh, the Undertaker must be wondering, what does he have to do to put HBK away?
many superstars have tried to defeat The Undertaker at WrestleMania, and none has succeeded. Never count out Shawn Michaels, JR. Uh-oh. Shouldn't have done that. Ice BK with a slap to The Undertaker, as if to say, this isn't over. This ain't over. And win by tombstone pin combo in the ring. All right. Uh-uh. No, Sean. Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh. I don't think so. Deal with it. That's it. You're done. Count of ref. One, two, and a three. Your career is over. Your winner, The Undertaker. Ladies and gentlemen, the fight to the end. Shawn Michaels. King rarely does a match live up to its expectations. Does a match live up to its height? I believe tonight what we saw was that and so much more. Oh, it way surpassed what anyone could have expected. And there you go. And that means tomorrow, man, another final match, which was the final match for Edge. Edge versus Del Rio. I'm Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out.